Hi cellos, so I'm going to go over how to properly tune your cello. Um, so we're going to try to get all these notes in tune. Um, it should go, um, the tuning order should be A, D, G, and then I can't sing that low, but C, so uh, it should sound kind of like that. Um, so let me see if my cello is in tune or sounds not quite right, which would mean it's out of tune. It's out of tune. What I'm going to do is uh, I could actually, there, there are several different ways I could go about this. I could go onto YouTube and type up something like A440. And A440 is just the uh, concert pitch, the note that you should be tuning your A string to. Um, so I just searched up A440 on YouTube. It looks like this. Um, and I could do it that way, meaning I would just listen to this note and then try to match it up with this. So you see how you, uh, you can hear the A440 note is higher than this note is. They don't mix very well. So what I would have to do is I could, um, I could tune it up using two different methods. I could use the fine tuners, which are down here, or I could use the tuning pegs, which are up here. Since it doesn't seem like it's too off from this note, I'm gonna use the fine tuners. So here I go, I'm gonna try to use the fine tuners. And remember, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So righty-tighty means that you're bringing the note up higher, and then lefty-loosey, when you're turning it left, means that you're bringing the note lower. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring that note up to match this note. So I'm turning it to the right, as you can see, turning this, that sounds like it's almost there. So an even better way of tuning is to download a, a, a tuning app, like on your phone. Um, so what I did is I, I downloaded this, uh, this app called Tuner Lite. And it looks like this. This is what your uh, tuner app should look like, kind of like that. Um, so I'm going to play the note and let my phone hear the note, and it should uh, get to the so that the needle is in the center of what says A440. Uh, you can use it to tune basically any instrument. So I'm pressing this button right here, that thing right there. That picture is called a tuning fork. So I'm clicking the button with the tuning fork on it. And now the tuner is activated. I'm going to try to mash it up with my tuner. When I'm playing the note, it's a little bit too flat. So my note is flat. So I need to uh, use my, um, my fine tuner. It's almost there. try it with a bow. Yes, there we go. So if I use the bow and I um, look at the tuner, that should be about right. The needle, the tuning needle is in the middle, which means that it's perfectly in tune. So now I'm going to do the same thing with D. So this says that my D is sharp. I need to tune it down using the fine tuner. So I turned it left a little bit. And now I'm going to go to G. Okay, this is way off. Right now it says this is an F sharp, so not even close to a G. So in this case, I'm going to have to use my tuning peg. I'm looking at my tuner, and I'm making sure that the string is lining up with the correct peg. Um, so the G note should be this peg, and I'm turning the peg. Okay, it's almost there. And what I'm doing right now, sometimes on a cellos especially, when you, when you turn the pegs, they're not going to be as easy to fine tune like the fine tuners are. 
the pegs can be kind of difficult to stick. They need to stick and, and stay in place for the, sh for the cello to stay in tune. So what I'm doing is I'm actually pressing in on the peg while I'm turning it. And doing that, you might actually need an adult's help or a parent's help to do that. Um, sometimes you can even actually turn the peg too far and then the string breaks. So that's why it might be important to get a parent to help you. It's almost there. Once I got it to a good place with the tuning peg, I actually started using the fine tuners to fine tune the note. There we go. So it looks like this is about in tune. Here it is. And some people just want to make sure that their notes are, are completely right by playing two strings at the same time. Once it sounds like it's really good, it's got a really full sound, it's probably in tune. Alright, now I'm going to get to my C string. So right now when I play that, it looks like this. That means that this note is sharp. I need to bring it down to make it a C. So I'm going to use the fine tuner once again um, to go turn it left so that it might be a C. Oh, almost there. There we go. That's about right. Doesn't have to be super exact. Should look kind of like that. There we go. So as a reminder, if the note is just barely off what the tuner app is telling you, um, you're going to use the fine tuners right here. Turn it righty tighty to the right. If you want to tune it up to go up to the note, or if it's sharp like my C was, then you're going to turn it left to bring it down so that it's the correct note. Um, and if it's a major change, if it's a major issue, like my G string was, uh, I use the peg, the tuning peg, which is up here. And if you're going to use the pegs, you should probably get a parent's help with that. Um, so, anyways. It's all in tune. Alright. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.